Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating dry heat therapy. So before we get started, you want to look at your doctor's order. You want to review your policy procedure manual. You want to ensure that you've done proper hand hygiene. And then when you enter the room, you're going to ID your client. So ask them their name and birth date and verify that uh, with the name that's on their band. For this procedure, I'll be using medical aseptic technique. Ensure that your bed is at a good working position. You've talked to your client and you educated them on what you'd be doing and you've provided privacy. So in this scenario, my client has arthritis in their wrist and their wrist is quite sore with decreased range of motion. So I'm gonna provide them with some heat therapy. So hopefully that heat therapy will uh, provide some comfort and help with joint extensibility. So they'll be able to uh, move their wrists a little bit more freely. So what I'm going to do first is look at the safety benefits. So advantages, disadvantages of using heat therapy. So dry heat therapy, it won't burn as quickly as a moist heat therapy. Um, the only other thing that you need to consider is that it's probably not gonna get deep into the tissues like a moist heat therapy would. It does dry the skin, so moist heat therapy adds moisture to the skin. This will dry the skin out. So what I need to be uh, careful for is when I'm assessing for factors um, that might contraindicate the treatment, we want to make sure that we don't uh, put it on anything that has like uh, rashes, open sores, active bleeding, because uh, it'll just increase that. Tolerance, so my client's age, so the very young and very old are going to be less tolerant to this procedure. Sensory perception, so their ability to sense pain, and also their ability to understand and communicate. We don't want to place this on any sites that have a malignancy. Uh, if it's a pregnant individual, you wouldn't want to be placing a heat pad directly on the abdomen. And then the other thing you need to take into consideration is if they have any medicated patches because you would not want to place heat therapy directly on a medicated patch. We want to assess the skin that we're going to be applying this to so make sure it's intact. Like I said, no active bleeding. We want to look at their history. So their history of um, diabetes, peripheral vascular disease because all of those will affect their tolerance as well and may, might contraindicate treatment. So here today I have two packages, so two different sizes. I'm going to pick the size that's going to uh, benefit the area that I am treating. So the wrist is a small area, I'm going to choose the smaller size package. This packet is for heat or cold. On the package it says you can microwave. Best practice is that we don't microwave these gel packs because the gel inside actually gets uh, patchy. So some uh, parts will be really hot, some may not be as hot, and it's increased risk for burns. Uh, the best thing to do is throw some of these into a warmer and get them warmed up to a nice temperature or else you can put this in a uh, basin of hot water and let it warm up that way. You're never going to pl place a dry treatment directly on the skin so you want a barrier in between. So in this case I've just got a pillowcase here which I'll, I'll put my pack in and I'll use that as my barrier. I'm going to cover the skin with the pack. I'm gonna give my patient the call bill and I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. In five minutes time, I'm gonna come back to my patient and I'm gonna assess the skin again. So you would expect a little bit of uh, redness because it's gonna increase circulation to that area, but you don't want to look to see the skin intensely uh, reddened, blistered, or the patient uh, complaining of intense pain or blistering. I've done my assessment, I'll wrap it back up and I'll continue rechecking every five minutes for the duration of treatment. So a dry heat treatment could take about 30 minutes, but review your doctor's order. Once I'm done the treatment, I'll remove the pack, do a reassessment of the skin. So in this case, my client had arthritis. I'm hoping that with this treatment that the arthritis, uh, the pain there is a little bit less, that the patient has a little bit more range of motion. I will take all that information and I'll document it into the interdisciplinary progress note. 